When you're homeless, it's like you're out there and you're, you're an outcast. You're a subculture. You are not comfortable in your own skin because, well, for me, I don't like being dirty. And I don't like sleeping in the dirt. And, you know, when that's all you have to do, that's what you got to do. And you know, then you got to sneak somewhere to wash your hair in freezing cold water from somebody's spigot. And it's, it's a lot of really rough things out there that people, you know, don't, don't understand. I didn't know what would happen if I slept a lot. You know, I didn't want my family to have to come down and identify my body. That's a scary reality that's out there. No matter how the economy does, good or bad, there always will be poor people and there will always be homeless people. It's just a function of how many. And so we are one of those agencies that are very compassionate. We provide dignity for our clients and, uh, and the need continues. And Friends Indeed is, is proud to be one of those agencies that, that can contribute to, to helping those people. The Women's Room offers a place for women who are alone, who are at risk, who may be living on the streets, they may be in some kind of temporary housing that gives them an opportunity to escape all these other pressures, all these other troubles, and just sit in a quiet place with other women who are facing the same kind of struggles. They're able to come here, take a shower, uh, launder their clothes, all the things that are, that are huge challenges for most people living on the streets. We can offer this opportunity just by opening the door. I believe that a homeless female is the most vulnerable out in the street. So going into the woman's room is sort of like a sanctuary where they feel comfortable taking a shower knowing that no one's gonna barge in. So knowing that at least during the hours that we're operating, they're able to use something that we take for granted. Before I was housed, I was alone. I was uh, suicidal. I was afraid. The woman's room took me to a new kind of lifestyle that I would have never found on my own. So it gave me a chance to re-enter re my community. And today I'm very strong in my community. I love my community. I would do anything for the city of Pasadena. One of the key programs, and was really, I think, our initial mission program, is our food pantry. And our food pantry serves very low-income families and individuals, as well as the homeless population. For the most part, what we're seeing is an increase in people. The number of people representing the household seems to level out, but the number of people, households coming, keeps going up. What's unique about Friends Indeed Food Pantry is that when our people come, they're not just handed a bag of groceries. They have the privilege of coming in and shopping. Our area is set up like a grocery store so that people can select the kind of food that they like to eat, food that their children will enjoy. And also, we really want to elevate the sense of dignity and respect and so when they come in, they're just like a shopper at any one of their local grocery stores. Hunger is stupid. And you can have, we could sit here and have a conversation about um, hunger globally, but we shouldn't have this conversation about hunger in the United States. There's just no reason for it. Um, it it's, it's ridiculous with the amount of food that we have. No one, one in six, one in seven people should not go to bed in a state of food insecurity. The Bad Weather Shelter is a place where somebody who's experiencing homelessness for a long time or for the night can come and find a warm bed, a warm meal, and some safety for the night. In working at the Bad Weather Shelter, uh, the joy of seeing somebody take the next step, moving into an apartment, or just moving into a sober living, or into a union station, um, and, and taking the next steps and then coming back to actually volunteer to help out at the shelter is just heartwarming. Norma's Nook was envisioned as fulfilling the need of women who were going on housing interviews, going on job interviews, 
parent-teacher conferences, church, anything that might come up in their lives. And that's what we started as, but it soon became really apparent to us that there was a different need, and that's when women are on the street, they often have their possessions stolen. So they have a big need for more basic clothing items that you wouldn't wear to an interview, things like t-shirts, jeans, tennis shoes, rather than heels, skirts, and blazers. So Norma's Nook is trying to cover these two basic uh, clothing needs of women that we see every week at Friends Indeed. When you're dealing with homeless people, one of the key issues is not letting them get homeless. So we have a homeless prevention program where we work with families and individuals that are on the verge of being evicted. We sign them up for the food pantry and we teach them basic economics, how to avoid getting into that situation. The volunteers at Friends Indeed are like none I've ever seen. Their commitment, their consistency, their longevity. We have volunteers that have been volunteering there in um, one capacity or another for, I think, 33 years is one of our longest volunteers. I see these volunteers come in week after week after week to give their time in the pantry and in the women's room and I know um, at the emergency shelter during the winter time. It's amazing how committed they are to this is the time I'm supposed to be there and, and, um, and how much they love these women, how much they want to see good things happen for these women. So all together as a community with those in the faith-based community, in our congregations, in our business partnerships, in our political partnerships, our civic partnerships with all the volunteers, together we're going to be able to bring more services to our community and together bring more dignity and love and compassion to those who most need it. Before I know friends indeed, every day I say, please God, take me with you. I don't want this life anymore. I don't want to live it like this. Please take me with you. But when I know friends indeed, when I start go there, Oh, I don't want to die now. Oh, no, no. Now I say thanks, God, because one more day life.